What's up everyone, my name is Kyler Steele. I'm a New Jersey-based photographer who takes nostalgic and vintage type photos. And today I'm gonna to be going over five editing tips in Lightroom on how to color your photos. Tip number one is to select your profile before you edit your photo. Profiles are the starting point of your raw image. Some profiles like landscape are very saturated and have a lot of contrast, whereas other profiles like neutral have more dynamic range and less contrast to start. If you want more colors in your photo, then look into the more saturated profiles. But if you're going for a muted look, then maybe go with neutral or standard. Tip number two is to use the selector tool in the HSL tab to easily color your photos. The selector tool allows you to gradually change the color in the photo based on the location that you select. And the selector tool also allows you to change multiple sliders as once, whereas if you grab the sliders themselves, you can only change one slider at a time. Therefore, if your image has a mixture of blue and teal in it, then it will pull both of these sliders at the same time instead of you having to go back and forth to tweak the image to perfection. You can use the selector tool in the hue, saturation, and luminance tabs all separately, and you can slowly go through these and dial in the desired look for your image. When you're using the selector tool, you can pull the colors in multiple directions just to find out the style that you like. I personally like to go to the teal section or even all the way to the green. And then I like to desaturate my blues a little bit just to give it a more neutral look. But if you want a more punchy blue look, you can pull it to the other side and get a little more magenta in there. Tip number three is to use the calibration tab inside of Lightroom to color grade your image. Every pixel inside of your image has an RGB value, and that means it's broken up into three different values, which is red, green, and blue. Inside of the calibration tab, you can alter the value that the red, green, or blue is output in. Therefore, each pixel's value can slightly be altered. So when you're changing the primaries for these colors, you can alter every single pixel. Instead of in the HSL tab, when you're altering the blues, it will only change the blue in your color. When you alter the blue calibration, it will change the value of every single pixel in your image. This easily allows you to get a clean look and not get fringing on the sides of your images. Tip number four is to use the reference tool inside of Lightroom to color match your images. The reference tool is an easy way to put your images side by side. What I like to do is put an edited image next to one that hasn't been edited yet, and then I slowly color match using the other tools that I've shown inside of this video. Using the reference tool is a good way to color match your photos, which allows you to have a consistent feed inside of Instagram if that's something that you like. Also, if you're working on a photo book, a project, or a website with a clean theme, this is a great way to match up the colors and get them to look alike. Tip number five is to use presets when you get stuck inside of a creative rut. I was someone who was really against presets in the beginning because I thought it would prohibit me from learning. But as I used Lightroom a lot more, I started getting stuck in my habits and I couldn't find new ways to edit my image. So when I finally decided to download some other photographers' presets, I was able to see how they were editing their images and I was able to learn a lot from how they were using different sections of Lightroom to craft their image. And I found out what I like to do, whether that be using the HSL tab and the calibration. Those are things that I like to use, but I like to stay away from tone curve, which is something that a lot of photographers like to use. Presets should not always be your crutch to fall back on, but if you have an abundance of presets, you can scroll through them at the beginning of your image to see what kind of style and what kind of output you want to go for your image. When you're scrolling through the presets, if the presets aren't working on a certain photograph, you could lower the value slider, which will decrease the intensity of the preset and allow it to work on more images. And then you can slowly craft those to fit on all of the images if you want to use presets consistently. I hope these five tips help you color correct your images inside of Lightroom. This is a great way to start getting a consistent theme and selling yourself as a photographer. If you're interested in seeing my work, you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, my website, or even YouTube if you want to see more Lightroom tutorials. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for the video, and I'll catch you guys soon.